Good afternoon. Have you imagined how it will be the, to live on the, on the island, on the sea, and travel now in Cannes, tomorrow in Monaco, or, and maybe far away and, you know, disconnected or connected to, to everybody? I think that uh, here in uh, 1680 Sustainable Luxury Show, the, the spirit of Jules Verne uh, carries on and right now we have uh, the, uh, the designer, the creator of uh, one of a kind uh, concept. It's called Island Emotion. Good afternoon, Milan. Good afternoon, uh, I'm very glad to, to have you here in our stand. Can you tell me how was everything begins? What was the, the idea, what is the concept of this amazing island? Well, like many uh, wonderful projects, this began on the beach one day, just like this uh, summer about four years ago in Monaco. We were having a drink with some friends, an Australian and a New Zealander who were in the yacht business. And they were dreaming of having a sort of an enormous barge on which they could actually create anything they wanted without the constraints of a traditional yacht. So we started discussing this and I was saying, well, let's try to do something also sustainable, completely off the grid and never seen before. And so we started the discussion and over the past four years we've been working with uh, all sorts of researchers, naval architects, uh, green roof specialists and so on to come up with the project that you see today. What uh, I, I was afraid of, but uh, Milena just uh, take away all my worries regarding this island. It was like this, all the photos were in the sunshine and I just asked her, okay, but how will it be in the storm? And she has a very, very pertinent answer. <laughs> well, in the storm it's like any well-built house on an ocean front in any tropical destination. The, the roofing is a concrete roof that's uh, reinforced. The hull, of course, is a, is a boat hull, and because of the size and shape of it, it's actually much more stable than regular uh, traditional yachts. We have a wonderful gyro system also, which is newly patented, which takes care of uh, the rolling motion that you would have in a storm. And our dear palm trees are taken care of as well with some uh, steel rods that are created around the palm tree that come up and hold it in place when, it, uh, when the wind is too strong. Can you tell us what is the, um, what is the purpose of, uh, of this island? Uh, what, uh, what are the, the purpose, I don't know, for a normal client, for a corporate client, for a company, for a hotel, I don't know, you name it. Well, the island that we presented here, or the island slash yacht that we presented, is 180 meters long. So it's the it's the biggest version of what we've created. We're also working on a more traditional size, which would be 90 meters by by 12 meters wide, for example. But the idea here is to create for either the private individual a kind of an island that he can take from his favorite party spots or or beauty spots in the world. Um, or otherwise a very, very exclusive destination resort which could be run as a sort of a hotel, resort, spa, wellness, maybe medical wellness and so on. And what we wanted especially to do was to show that the luxury world can have all of this comfort and exclusiveness but still have less of an impact than the traditional yachts and even actually than some of the luxury resorts we know today. We have about 60% less impact in terms of CO2 emission with this project as opposed to a traditional yacht. I see something, uh, let's say, the uh, home built on the water in Holland, and they are quite nice, exactly like on the docks, and I think that uh, in the future maybe this will be one of the next future house, you know, exactly like this, because you have the full mobility. Okay, okay, you, you have to manage the running cost because I, I, I think that it's, it is not, yes. Uh, can, you, can you tell us here, right now I have this question about the crewing, uh, how, many, how many people are the, has to be there to take care about everything? Let, let's say for a, for a normal person not in, uh, in touristical uh, proposal. Well, like, it's really quite 
quite similar to the traditional yacht. So in the traditional yacht, you basically count a minimum of one crew per passenger possible. And that's the, that's the general team. So here it's about the same thing. And in this 180 meter length um, uh, model that we did, we have, besides the VIP uh, suites, which there are, there are about 16 VIP suites plus the master suite, and then there are 24 normal suites, and then the possibility of regular rooms as well, that makes it possible to have around 75 crew on there. This could be it, and uh, it was just an idea, yeah, and maybe a, a suggestion to you. It could be a very nice location for a Grand Prix prize on water, because it could be some excellent view all over the side, and the boats running around the, <laughs> the island. I think it would be quite a view, quite a view. That's right. Well, in that case, we'll have to work with the electric island so that we can stay I within see. the sustainability. I see, I see. I <laughs> but see. we are talking actually about using it as a possible transportation destination hotel, for example, for the Olympics, uh, because this is a kind of a hotel that can go from one city to another. And one of the big problems of Olympic cities is that they have to build a lot of hotel rooms for the event. But then once the event is gone, they don't need as many rooms. So the idea of creating rooms on water in an enclosed uh, sort of a hotel environment where you have all the services of restaurant and health club and so on, but that you can then move around from one place to another is an excellent solution. So this is one of the things that we're looking at. And also, this boat is basically uh, a basis for what we call global life and water. We created a foundation called GLOW, Global Life and Water, and it bring, will bring the technologies also for living on water, for example, offshore lodging for miners. Uh, we also want to put a part of the benefit of the sales of these boats back into the foundation to create floating barge hospitals to get upriver to communities that can't get ex accessed uh, easily by by car or, or ambulance and so on, so that they can be treated, the, the underprivileged communities can be treated on the hospital directly. And the last question for you, what is luxury for you in one world? Uh, luxury for me, as I say often, is the possibility to take the time to be in an environment that one has chosen with the friends that one has chosen or all alone if one wants to. Okay. We thank you very much and we wish you a big success with this project and maybe in a short time we'll be able, I don't know, to transmit or to broadcast live exactly from your island. <laughs> that would be a big pleasure for me. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.